Hey folks, welcome back to another video. You join me on a stunning day in Snowdonia. Look at it, it's lush. I'm here perched on a little ledge at Lion Rock. Um, that's not of much concern because I'm only like a metre and a half, two metres above the floor. That's of more concern how I've perched my camera. I ran out of slings to sort of tie it to a bit of rock as well. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that doesn't plummet uh, to the floor. Apologies for not wearing a helmet, completely forgot it. But like I say, I am only a little bit uh, above the floor, so I should be okay. Today's video is all about, it's a bit of a request this one, it's about kind of uh, hanging belays on multi-pitch routes uh, and sort of how to be organised and how to deal with the changeovers and stuff like that. So what I've done up here is I've pre-built a, a pair of anchors and linked them with a sling uh, to equalise them, make them independent, create an angle. Not too worried about chatting about that to date, loads of other videos on that. but. They are flipping solid. I would happily jump up and down on them together all day long. And I'm going to attach myself into there, um, pretending I'm on a route somewhere, uh, getting ready to make myself safe and bring my mate up. And we'll have a little chat through the bits and pieces that go with that. So, first off, I say I have got a bit of a ledge, and ideally we want, you know, don't have a choice of where to be lay all the time. But it's nice to have your feet on something. But I've slotted my bits of gear in. I've got my master point here. I'm going to get myself clipped in. What I have thought about as part of this process, before I get clipped in and face a direction or the other way, is where my mate's going to go, assuming we're uh, alternating leads. So I've decided they're going off that way because that's where the route goes. So I'm going to get myself here where I am, and then my mate's got a bit of space to go there and then peel off that way. So they won't have to step over my ropes, clamber past me, all that kind of thing. So a little bit of pre-planning is useful there. I'm going to clove hitch in, not using a lanyard or anything because I've got loads of rope on me. So I'm going for the standard clove hitch, get that in there. What I'm also going to do with my right hand rope as well is just put it in there just for the sake of organisation and keeping it neat and tidy. That will hopefully stop me introducing any extra twists or tangles into the setup. I'll just tighten myself up on there to get comfy and then dangle away. Like I say, it's nice to have your feet on something or be sort of leaning against it with your bum or something, which is handy for facing the camera as well in this instance. Uh, I'm just gonna go a little bit higher. It's worth doing this now, rather than, you know, when your mate's halfway up, finding yourself uncomfortable. So get everything dialed from the start. There we go, that's better for me. And hopefully I'm in shot nicely there as well. So I'm in, attached, all that jazz, we're good. The main aim of the game here is to not only be efficient, but to stay tangle free and everything like that. And that leads to efficiency as well. I love climbing. I go climbing to go climbing. Equally, I love all this geeky stuff and being efficient with it and making it as neat and tidy as possible. At this point, I haven't shouted down safe to my mate yet. What I do is I just tend to get this bit sorted first. So I'm going to decide where to put my uh, guide plate for this one. It's like the nicest way to do it if I can. I've got nice solid anchors. For this one, I'm going to put it into the uh, carabiner and use that as a master point. So I will flip and flip, get that over the gate, do it up straight away and get that just clipped in and ready to go. At this point, I shout down safe to my mate and I can, they'll take me off belay, I can start taking in. The order of that bit is a bit of a work habit, really. It's just to seem like I'm being efficient because as soon as I've taken all this rope in in a second, I can just slot it straight into there, do it up and shout, climb when ready, and that makes me look really slick and everything. Where to put the ropes is a bit of a question here. I've got a small ledge, but not enough to put uh, my ropes onto. So the most common thing to do here is to drop loops as big as you can, so like as far down as you can, without them getting snagged on rocks and roots or whatever else might be on the pitch. So have a look down beneath you, see if there's anything likely uh, to snag them and go to a little bit short of that. I want these first loops to be as long as possible. And then what I'm gonna do after that is kind of work just a little bit shorter each time. That's my preferred way of doing it. Some people will um, suggest starting short and going long. 
just have a play with it, see what works for you. I've kind of uh, found myself pretty happy with the long to short version. Okay, so I'm just going in side to side. I won't go the whole 50 meters of this, but you'll get the idea. It looks good with these nice colored ropes as well. It's always good for your Instagram shot later. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, I've pulled the last one. That's now tight on my mate, so I know it's them. Perhaps they've given a shout of that's me, all that kind of stuff. But what I tend to do if I can't see them, I've taken in, it's gone tight, and I'll leave it just five seconds, and I'll try taking in again. Because if I can't see them, maybe they were taking out a twist or a tangle in the rope. So I'll just give one more go. Oh, that's still tight on them. Must be, must be ready to be loaded up. Got my belay plate ready, like I say. Load that in, making sure they're the right way, no twists and tangles being introduced there. Clip in, do it up, jobs are good and get Beale in, they can have a nice time on the route enjoying the climbing. So far so good, neat and simple, tangle free. During that process, before I put them on Beale and I'm building the Beale and stuff, I could have like clipped my rucksack to something, had a drink. It's just nice to take a rucksack off on a long route and, and put it there and you can both then at a later date get your drink out, get the guidebook out, all those kind of bits and pieces. Swap rucksacks if you're sharing one as well. Uh, it tends to be the second that has the rucksack so the leader can kind of have the easier time. Whilst I'm belaying though, I'm thinking what can I do to sort of multitask a little bit to save time and be efficient. Okay, so I'm belaying away, maybe they get to a bit of gear so I've got a second. I'm going to keep my hands on the braking strands. I'm just going to get stuff wrapped up to here as they're going. So I put everything up and they might start climbing again so I start doing the belaying. They start to pause again, I clip it all up to there. Nuts, uh, all the cams that I've got as well. I mean, I try and do them in a bit of order if I've got the time and inclination uh, just to make things a bit easier for that changeover. Um, got these nice new quick draws from outside, DMM Phantoms. They're kind of one of the smallest full-size carabiners. You might have seen things like those Edelrid uh, 19Gs. They're really small, really light, but I find them just a bit too small to use comfortably personally because I'm not used to using them, but the Phantoms I find are a nice sort of compromise uh light but still uh useful um, and i use uh, just different you know still phantoms but with the sling draws on them as well for those ones anything else i've got i'll clip it up there as well when my mate gets up here all right what are we going to do with them well i've said already that they're going to peel off that way so i'm thinking what are they going to clip to i've already thought about that when i've set all this up really got a choice here they can clip to the shelf they can clip to the master point carabiner and then they can dangle next to me. So that's probably what I'll do. So I'll just put this in uh, for simulation. Clip and flip into there. They can uh, get themselves fixed in. They don't need to put these two uh, strands in to keep it neat and tidy because they're just going to go off in a second really anyway. Do themselves up. Uh, at that point, I can take them off belay. Uh, at least let go at this point because they're all safe on that. They can get racking gear. The nice thing about nuts being up here is they can sort of start clipping things to their harness. They can pass me some nuts and I can rack them onto the appropriate carabiner. Anything to sort of multitask and get more than one thing going at, uh, on at once. It could be though that I'm just grabbing a drink, taking a photo, reading the guidebook, all those kind of things, but trying to do something useful rather than just sat there enjoying the view. Not that there's anything wrong with that sometimes, but if you're trying to be efficient, multitask a little bit. They take the gear, off they go. But I can't belay off there, so what I'd like to do now, just before they do start, while they're still on their clove hitch, they haven't unclipped or anything yet, I am gonna take off the uh, guide plate. I'm gonna check for any tangles here, right? I've got, in this setup, I've got blue on the right, pink on the left, but you can see it's loaded differently because I've now flipped it. You could make that work, if you've got the moment though, it does become a bit easier, I reckon, if you sort of start from scratch. What I've done there, I don't particularly like doing actually. I've kind of separated those and made that into a droppable item. So I could have unloaded it while things are still attached. And I can do the same actually with loading. I'm gonna put that onto a rope loop now. Actually, I'll, I'll load the ropes in properly. So I want that one and with the old pinky go, I can't see it, so now I've dropped it. There it is, uh, I grabbed the wrong strand. So those two bits are going to go up so I can load them in, all right? That's the name of the game. Keeping it as tangle free as humanly possible. It does require some thought. Just sort of try and think one step ahead when you're doing it. So now I'm clipping that in without taking it off again. So now as they climb up, that's going to be 
the braking strands under there. This will peel up and that will all be nice and tangle free or winning. They can come off that, off they go. Just before we can just tidy that up again before they start we can just double check they've taken all their kit i've got them on belay we're all done up we're good to go anything to think about as the uh, second goes off and up yes they're going to immediately be thinking how can i protect our little safety bubble of the belay so ideally a separate bit of kit would be like perfect if there's a nice nut or cam or whatever to a bolt to clip there brilliant clip it if there isn't anything might well be worth clipping into part of the belay done another video on that and take a look at that if that's something you want to find out some more about now that's what we would normally do in the UK we alternate leads other countries where routes are a bit longer there's more pitches perhaps you will block lead so actually my mate gets up to me and then I go again and again and again so I will have stacked myself differently remember the routes going that way so that time I would have spun myself round and I would have had my partner coming up to the other side to leave that way free for me to disappear onto and then let's just take this off for clarity for a second. I've got all this rope nicely lapped over here. And if I was staying here, belay my mate, that'll all peel off quite nicely. It'll get caught on the odd nut or something as it goes through, but it all peels off well. If, however, I'm leading again, you've got a couple of choices here. Just put those back where they were. You can pick up the rope and flip it onto there. Uh, sections of rope so this part that I've tied in with with practice that can work quite well and it can be quite quick actually even though I have practiced it quite a lot what I'd rather do is I'd rather actually they restack the rope so they take their end and they do exactly what I've done until all this has come off me slowly but surely and onto them I just find that a more robust way of staying tangle free as i keep saying tangle free is, is the aim of the game as soon as you get twists and tangles and stuff not only does it slow things down when you get a bit stuck a bit more confusing when the ropes are twisting and stuff on route and it's hard to see which rope to clip and all that kind of stuff so it uh, partly it's me being dead geeky and trying to be perfect but partly it just makes your life easier as well well there you go i hope that was a, a useful bit of chat um please do fire away with any questions and leave any top tips down in the comments below as well that you've got from years of multi-pitch experience and hanging belays like i say do find a little foot ledge if you can because it makes life a bit easier there's things you can do people some people take belay seats not in a uk environment if you're doing like mega loads of pitches that can make life a lot more comfortable you can put your foot in a sling from here or something like that if you haven't got a foot ledge i just find most of the time there is something enough to put your feet on for a little bit of suffering for a while um, but it depends what kind of route you're on and stuff like that doesn't it with all these things that you've got and you, you can be efficient like i say and put your rucksack on clip your water bottle to something whatever it is but also take your shoes off if your mate's going to be a, a while and you've got tight rock shoes on take them off carefully it's got to be done carefully you don't want to drop them flipping miles down there clip them to something might be a bit smelly for you and your mate while you're hanging around if they're that kind of rock shoe but you know just use this to sort of stay as neat and as organized but as bulletproof drop proof as well because that's really flipping important Fire away with those questions, happy to answer as best I can. As always, massive thanks for the support. It's, it's, we're nearly at 10,000 um, subscribers and that, as I say every time, is flipping mind blowing. So do find us on Insta, on Facebook, give us a like, give us a subscribe, all those kind of things. Share their videos if you've got any mates that would like to see them as well. The support is just, I'm so grateful for it, it's unreal. Thanks again for watching, more videos coming up very soon. <laughs>